Hello guys, Soft Tony here and today's tutorial we're gonna be creating a dark grunge and glitchy opener here in After Effects, completely from scratch and with no plugins needed. This project is perfect for trailers, promos or edgy intros and this one will teach you some awesome techniques that you can use in any design, so hit that like button, subscribe and let's get started! Alright guys, here we are in After Effects and as always let's first create new composition, hit here and this is gonna be final like usual, full HD, 30 FPS and I will go duration 10 seconds long. Hit OK and I will create another one, I'll just turn this option to toggle transparency grid, OK and let's create another one and this is gonna be part 1 composition and this is gonna be maybe around 4 seconds long, something like this and then hit OK. Let's go inside this part of one composition and here I will create background, go right click to create new solid and this is gonna be background solid layer and then hit ok. Now I will go here inside the effects and presets, if you can't find it, hit here window, you will find effects and presets here and for the first effect I will add fractal noise. Just drag and drop onto our new solid layer, here let's make some adjustments and for the fractal type change from basic, find here subscale. And also for the contrast I will do 300, ok. Now let's open up this transform option and also I will go for the scale, let's try 300. Now let's also animate evolution, hold alt and then left mouse click and I will type here time asterisk 40 and as you can see our fractal noise now have this type of movement. For the next effect go here back in the effects and presets and I will type embass effect, also drag and drop onto our background leave it as it is and for the final step here I will add triton effect and just drag and drop onto our background solid layer and for the midtones change to pure black color and then let's hit ok, hit 0 inside this part of one composition and as you can see this is gonna be our grungy background inside this new composition. Now let's create here text, I will hit ctrl plus T or go hit on this little icon and I'm using this Bebas Neu font for the font size 700 and also I have turned on this fox bolt option and let's click here random text, this is gonna be grunge, ok, align it to the center, something like this and also go here inside the paragraph and center text and if you can't find align and paragraph go to window and you will find them here, ok. Now let's also animate our grunge text, go here at 0 seconds, open up this little triangle, go on animate, I will find here opacity. And for the opacity let's lower down to 0, open up this range selector 1, set up our first keyframe for the offset and I will go minus 100. Now I will go to around 2 seconds and let's go to 100%, open up advanced and change here shape from square to ramp up. And also I will randomize order, hit 0 to see the preview and this is gonna be our first step in our text animation. Ok now let's add another animator for our grunge text, go here on animate and I'll find here tracking. Now for the second animator go here at 0 seconds, for the tracking amount I will go maybe to around 35 or so, somewhere around here, now let's go to around 3 seconds or so and I will go to maybe minus 50 and this depends on your text size. Ok, and also for the final step, go here again and find animate and for the third animator I will add fill color opacity. And now here inside this new animator for the fill opacity let's go to 0 and then click here add option for the third animator, find here selector and select this wiggly option. Open up this wiggly selector 1 and maybe change wiggles per seconds from 2 to 1 and as you can see this is gonna be our base text and now it's time to also import your media here inside this Art of One composition. This is here media from pexels.com, of course you will import your own, just drag and drop in the middle of this background and grunge and if this media is larger hit S to scale it down, something like this, hit P for position, place it somewhere around here and now we will use this grunge text as our mask and now here if you can find this track map option hit here toggle switches and modes and you will find it and let's find here alpha mat and now as you can see our media will be here inside our grunge text hit zero and this is gonna be looking cool 
Okay, for the final step, let's duplicate this background once again. Hit Ctrl plus D, move this one above, and I will rename this one to Overlay. Okay, and let's create our text as a grungy text. You can also go here inside Blending Modes, find here Overlay Blending Mode. Okay, hit F3 to show Effects Control, delete the Emboss effect inside this overlay solid layer okay and here basically you can play around with everything and i will go instead of this subscale change to turbulent smooth like so and here on this overlay layer hit t for the opacity and i will do to around 50 percent and as you can see you can also play around here with midtones maybe to find orange color or whatever fits to you maybe this dark one hit okay now let's hit zero once again inside this part of one composition and this is gonna be cool looking base animation of our grungy text. Alright guys, now it's also time to create some adjustment layers here. Go right click to create new adjustment layer. And this first one, this is gonna be transform like so. And now let's go back here again inside the effects and presets and find transform effect, drag and drop. All right, and here for the transform effect, you can do, for example, scale to around 150 or so. You can also play around here by creating mask, hit here, and then hit Q on your keyboard, or go and hit on this little icon rectangle tool. And for example, you can create just left side of our composition to be 160 scale. Let's make this smaller, like so, it's up to you. Hit zero, and as you can see, only this part of the animation will be scaled up. Now let's hit Ctrl plus D. This is gonna be transform to reposition it if you want. And you can also play around with the mask, hit M and just hit invert option. And now this right part of the image will be also scaled up. Hit zero to see the preview. And this is looking cool. You can duplicate this as many times as you want, but let's also create another adjustment layer. Find here adjustment layer. And this is gonna be posterize like so go here inside the effects and presets and find posterize effect also drag and drop make this layer smaller you can also hit ctrl shift and d and delete the rest and also reposition this posterize effect to wherever you want okay i will lower this number to around three or four like so maybe to leave it somewhere around here and now when we hit zero we have this transform adjustment layers and this cool looking posterize effect Let's create another adjustment layer, find here adjustment layer, and this is gonna be Mr. Smoothie. It's the funny name of this effect. Go here inside effects and presets and find CC Mr. Smoothie. This one, just drag and drop onto adjustment layer. Also repeat everything. You can hit Control Shift and D, delete the rest. And for this Smoothie effect, you can also play around with those options to get this grungy look. For example, sample A, move somewhere around here. And also you can play around with the smoothness and everything else. Let's hit zero to see the preview. And this looks stunning. All right, guys, you can add here as many adjustment layers as you want. I have shown you this cool technique so you can easily create even more fast animation inside this part of one composition. Now it's time to import this part of one composition here inside the finals. Find here in the project window this part of one, drag and drop inside the finals. And here I will create transition for this part of one. Go right click to create new solid layer. And this is gonna be just TR for transition, also full HD, and then hit OK. Now let's go here inside the effects and presets. And for the transition effect, this is gonna be burn film, CC burn film, drag and drop onto the solid layer. And here let's animate for the burn. Let's create first keyframe here at zero seconds. And now I will go to around one second and let's go to around 100. Now for the blending mode, I will change from normal to dissolve. And also let's go back here inside the effects and presets. I will type rough and edges effect, drag and drop also onto our transition. And here basically you can play around with transition look. I will maybe change this edge type from rough and maybe to spiky, like so. And also for the final step, go and find track mats for this part 01. I will do alpha inverted. And you're also free to play around here with the random seed in every moment it's up to you to experiment let's hit zero to see this one again and this looks great now let's for the end create just background layer this is gonna be solid hit ok and we will rename it just bg inside this final composition hit here again and this looks awesome 
All right, guys, for the final step, let's pre-compose everything to create new composition. Select here everything, go right click and then pre-compose. And this is gonna be slide 01 and then hit OK. Now let's go here inside slide 01 composition and make it shorter. Go here composition or hit Control plus K and I will make the duration to around three seconds. Now let's hit OK, go back here in the finals. And as you can see, now we have this three second long slide of one composition. And now let's animate. Go here at zero seconds, hit S for scaling, and I will do 110. Set up the first keyframe, then let's go to around two seconds, and I will type 100. Now let's duplicate this slide 01, hit Ctrl plus D. Now we have second one, and move this one to around one second and 20 frames. Here inside the project window, we will also create slide 02. Let's duplicate this slide 01. This is gonna be slide 02. Now hold Alt on your keyboard and just drag and drop on top of this slide 01 composition. Now let's go inside this slide 01 new composition. Select this part 01. Let's also duplicate this part 01. This is gonna be part 02. Hold Alt, drag and drop. And now we have completely different composition and we are also free to experiment and play around here in this part 02 composition independently and everything we change here won't affect this slide 01 composition. Let's change text. This is gonna be for example fast. Okay, let's delete this media 1. Find your media 2. Also drag and drop below this fast text and also for the track mat I'll find here alpha. Now let's hit S for scaling. Make sure to turn on this option toggle mask to see the boundaries of your image. I will make this one smaller somewhere around here. Okay, you can also hit P for position, move it up or down. And as you can see, our guy will appear here inside this fast text. Now let's go back here in the final composition. I will hit zero. This is our first text and this is the second one. Now let's go here back in slide 02 and you can delete this transition. Before that let's change track mat to no track mat for the part 02 and delete the transition. And let's go back here in the finals and we will create also even more adjustment layers. This first one is gonna be hex style, make it shorter like before, hit Control shift plus D, delete the rest maybe somewhere around here okay and now let's go back here inside the effects and presets i will type hex style effect drag and drop okay and for this adjustment layer let's maybe change radius to around 400 and you are free to experiment with everything else rotation you can also animate and i'm just showing you the way when you hit zero you will see that our adjustment layer will appear here at one second and 10 frames Let's now duplicate this adjustment layer, hit Ctrl plus D of course, move this one down. I will also rename it, right click, and this is gonna be Collider effect. Okay, now let's go back here and type Collider CC Collider effect, drag and drop, and delete this hex style effect. And you are also free to play around with this effect. I will go maybe for the size 45, and for the mirroring, you can pick whatever option you want here. I will go maybe wheel. And you can also reposition this one to maybe somewhere around here. You can play around with the rotation. Let's hit Ctrl plus D, adjust it maybe somewhere around here. You can reset it and change maybe different shape, whatever fits to you here. It's up to you to play around with everything. Now let's hit zero once again. And this looks awesome. Maybe to duplicate this X type for a few times, maybe somewhere around here. I will delete this collider too, hit zero and our grunge animation is looking great. All right, guys, I have shown you this cool looking technique so you can create your own grungy intro and you can also reposition as many slides and adjustment layers as you want. Okay, and also if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and also consider to leave a comment down below in the comment section and also visit my channel. You can find there a bunch of different tutorials. And also if you want to use graphic packs and elements like me, just check the link down below in the description. And also turn on the bell notification so you never miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.